Hello, KWAZ agents. I wanted to share with you a video showing you how to sign documents through DocuSign and also access Market Center templated forms. Yes, I said it, templated forms through our Market Center. So first things first is you're going to log in to agent.kw.com and go to command. So once you're there, if you haven't already created an opportunity, you will need to do so. Opportunities are the little handshake on the left-hand side. If you don't know what those are, you can click on the red button and it will give you names. So click on opportunities and that will take you into your opportunities section. So I'm working with a buyer. They're currently active. They are out showing houses and now I want to get some docs for them. So I click on my buyer, open up that opportunity and then click on documents. At that point, it's going to bring up a little button over here. Right now, because I've already created a room in DocuSign, because I've been working with this buyer for a while, it says go to transaction. If you hadn't created a room already, it would say start a transaction. So either one, you're going to click on that button, go to transaction or start a transaction. It will then take you into DocuSign. If you have not already logged in for the day, it will ask you to log in to DocuSign at that point. It will do it once per day. So now that I'm in my DocuSign, I know I'm in the right place because I see Keller Williams up here and I see rooms. And I know that I'm in the proper room as well since I've already been in this room before. Just so you know, you can go into details and click edit and you'll be able to add information for your buyers, your listers, or whoever transaction you're working with. But I'm working with some buyers, so I've got buyer one information and I've got buyer two information down here. So then I go to documents. At that point, I can now add documents to my room. You can see I already have some here. If I didn't like what I already had in there, I could go in and remove them and archive that one document or I can add others. So at this point, I wanna add from DocuSign Forms, and it's going to take you to libraries, or you can choose from groups. Libraries are gonna be Arizona Association and Armless, unless you belong to another board of realtors, and you're gonna see Central Arizona Board, or Tucson, or a different one there. But the main two that you will see are Arizona Association and Armless. Um, I've also created a couple form groups for you. So you may click on groups and click on forms. You'll see a typical buyer transaction and you'll see a typical listing transaction right now. You could click on the buyer forms and anything that's usually associated with a buyer transaction would be in here already. You can see that it's already checked some because those are the ones that are currently in the room. But if I needed to add something else, this is where I would go and do that. And now you'll see that it is updated and put those forms into my room. At that point, you would then fill out the forms however you would need to. They are fillable. So you can fill out your contract, put all your information in. And then the next step over you're gonna to go to is people. Just so you guys know, KW admin, that is KWRI. We're not really sure who that actually goes to, but they are in all of the rooms. Um, this account over here is our service account for the Market Center, but we do not receive notifications through there. And because I'm the agent on here, I'm listed as the agent owner. So if you're needing something signed by me, a referral form or anything of that sort, you will have to add me to your room um, and invite me to sign that way. You can add your buyer and seller here as well if you'd like to. Or we're going to go on to envelopes at this point. So you'll see I've had a couple other envelopes in here and I wanted to show you guys really quick about these. I've already sent out some documents for signatures, so they're waiting for signatures right now. I have something in a draft format that I have getting ready to send, but I haven't sent it. And then I also have something that's voided. Um, just so you know that if you send something out for signatures and you want to retract it back, if you right mouse click, you can delete if it's in draft mode, if it's already been sent, when you right mouse click, it'll ask you if you want to void. So if you see on this one, waiting for others, and it says void. So if you click on void, it's gonna ask you for a reason, and you have to give one or it won't allow you to void it. 
and then you would just click void and it's going to send them an email just so you know so you can see it this is what it looks like Kate Madison voided KWABA and the reason because I was replacing the document so it sends that to your buyer or your seller so going back to our rooms in our envelope so this I want to create a new envelope to send to my buyers with some documents so I can go into those room docs and pull anything that I've already filled out so you saw that I added the market conditions advisory purchase contract whatever you would need to send you can go ahead and click those there and add them or here's the big one if you want to use a template you go click on use a template and then click on shared with me when you click on share with me, all of a sudden you're going to see a whole host of documents pull up. These are market center forms. So these are anything that are branded to us are in here right now for you guys to use. They were shared with you last night. Um, so hopefully everybody should have those. At that point, you could come in here and say, okay, what do I need to send out of here? So if I wanted to add the mold disclosure, I would add that document. And then if you see, it allows you to add more docs. And so you can go from a whole host of different places. You can go back to the room and grab whatever is in there. You can go back to templates and add a shared with me template. Or you can go more and upload. So if you're uploading, you're just grabbing anything from your computer already that's a um, PDF. So next we need recipients. So we're gonna click on add a recipient you want to do the pre-tagged roles. So the pre-tagged roles are going to be a buyer, seller, landlord, tenant. Um, they're already in there. Room participants will add, allow you to do anybody that you've added to the room and email addresses, you're adding them separately. So the pre-tagged role, if you click on that, you'll see there's a buyer one and a buyer two that's already listed on this form. So then you're gonna go up here and make sure we're gonna do both of those. So buyer one, I'm going to make my daughter. And then buyer two, I'm going to come down here and make myself. So then it automatically shows you. You'll see numbers in the front. That means that it's going to send it to both of us at the same time. If I wanted it just to send to Morgan first, let her sign, and then send it to myself, I would change that to order of two. And it will wait and not send it to me until she has signed it. So I don't care about that, so I'm going to put it back to one. Here's where you can write a little message. Please DocuSign our mold disclosure and write a little message. Then I'm hit next. next it's going to pop up inside the room and inside that envelope so you're actually going to see the document so right now if you scroll down you see it's already pre-tagged for buyer one and buyer two we know this because if you look up here I was buyer one she was buyer one I was buyer two it gives you different colors if you had four there would be four different colors so that's how you know where that person is signing You'll also see that I have marked in some text for you guys. It shows that buyer two can fill that in. But if you notice, if you click on over here, it shows that it's not a required field, it's a read only field. So as an agent, then you would come in and just double click on that and start typing the property address. And then at that point you're done, you could do this to multiple documents if you had multiple documents in here, but we only had this one in here, it's already pre-tagged. So I can do one of two things. I can go ahead and send it, or I can preview it. If you go into preview mode, it's going to show me what the client is gonna see and show me how the client signs. So right now it is in for viewing as Kate Madison, or I could view it as Morgan. So if I'm viewing it as Morgan, I hit quick start required to sign and it's signed. So that's just a bogus signature to show you what it looks like. It's actually not signing this document. It's just showing you what the um, process is. 
So I know, yes, that's exactly where I wanted her to sign. It's got my right date on there. I'm going to X out of the preview and I'm going to go ahead and send. At that point, it says you that it's been successfully sent. It's going to take you back into the envelopes and now it says it's waiting on others. Once they have signed off on that, it'll come back and say signed and then you can put that and go back to your command docs. Go and find that under the under contract if that's what you were needing to have signed and uploaded because I was asking for it. So there's a mold disclosure and I'm going to hit add a file. Go to DocuSign. And then I'm going to find that particular file once it is signed and then I'm going to upload it. So right now it's not showing for me because I have not signed it. But at that point, you would just upload it there and then you would be all set. Don't forget to submit to Market Center once you've added files to there. Thanks, that's all for today and I hope that makes it easier for everyone to know how to sign documents with DocuSign and Command.